No question that Umar Rahman has started this great game of cricket, but I'm still trying to figure out a reason why he's done that. Why would he do it? Because he's not a rookie, a first timer. He understood the protocol. He's been in the system, in the circuit for 10 years plus. He's made fair bit of money. He's found fame and glory and from a very young age was marked as a special talent. Maybe there's a fault line in Pakistan cricket system where a talent like Umar Akmal can go haywire because he was not given a good working environment. He wasn't nurtured properly. He wasn't given a strong support system. And in the end, he went down. He completely lost the plot. And once you err, once you cross that red line, you're done. And so he's been banned for three years. Umar Akmal sadly did not read from Pakistan's past fixing history as well because it's out there 25, 30 years of such sagas and scenarios where some of the greats of the game have erred, have crossed the line and had to pay the price. But Umar Akmal clearly did not understand the value of his talent. He did not understand the responsibility that he had as a cricketer, did not read his ambassadorial role as a sportsman. One thing I need to make very clear to the fans, especially Pakistani fans who are still feeling that Umar Akmal has been hard done by because he did not exactly fix a game. But one thing has to be made very clear, guys, that not reporting a crime, not reporting an invite, befriending a con artist oblique bookie is as serious uh, a crime as fixing the game. And one thing I've got to remind you, and this time, please do it. Do not back these Johnnies because the moment Pakistan cricket goes in a turbulent phase where they're being hammered, where they're losing matches, these tainted players put pressure through their fans because they've been out of the focus for a year, year and a half. And certainly when the pressure builds on Pakistan cricket performance, these players make the comeback on the backs of the fans. Now fans have got to realize that enough is enough. Pakistan cricket has been damaged quite badly because if it was a one-off case, it would have been understood and leniency would have been applied. But it's a story of follies, one after the other, year after year, not now, but since 30 years. And this has to stop because Pakistan cricket cannot afford such headlines because you're making a product, you're building a product, you work hard at getting the players on a, on a certain pedestal. And certainly there's this case where there's fixing issues. And so the entire system goes down. It goes bust because it takes years to get it back on its feet because the image is destroyed. And I think Pakistan society, Pakistan fans need to understand the value of purity, of honesty, because these guys have impurified the system. They have polluted the system and yet want to make a comeback on the backs of their fans. Now, fans have got to be absolutely ruthless. Such behavior cannot be tolerated anymore. And I think fans and society have got to come on the same page and discourage their entry back into the cricket system. Um, the other thing that needs to be done is for Pakistan Cricket Board to maybe work with the government and get a legislation out where mass fixing is treated as a serious crime and these tainted players who have fixed the games, who have erred, can be put behind bars. That's the only solution because they have not learned from their past mistakes and Pakistan cricket and cricket in general cannot afford more Umar Akmals. I'm sorry.